morning everybody <clears throat> so as everybody knows with these boost cars even with the larger injectors pumps all that other stuff you end up around the thousand horse mark when you get to smaller motors with bigger blowers basically it goes to brake specific fuel consumption long explanation so what we're having to do is reroute back to ms109 to get like e85 like numbers so probably like an e50 um soon we'll be breaking into the port injection game getting a couple cars set up and then that'll kind of be our go-to so it'll be lt4 fuel systems and port injection so that we can run e85 all the time we've already done the comparison on this car e33 with the filter on filter off now we're going to go to ms109 with the filter off just to show what it'd be worth if we do invest in the port injection and all that stuff because this car's got 30 overs it's got everything in it so well, uh, I gotta load up the tune, get a little bit of drivability, and then we'll get into the wide open stuff. So basically what we got going on is that it's going over six milliseconds and you know we're still trying to put more fuel in up top. Um, there's really not much left to do. I mean, you know, we're down at six, we blended out after we pumped all the, you know, blend out, you know, we're down at 16 and a half. But when we start getting up here around that six range, even though I've done all the tricks, um, it's still, you know, it's going over that and it's kind of wanting to lay over uh and in all honesty to like make a big number these things don't really like being fat um but i try not to ever run anything above 12 oh so you know that last little push up top lean them out there's tiny at them you know they're gonna make more power but it's really not worth it to me for the safety factor and whatnot so long story short when you basically run out of six milliseconds, there's um, on the bottom side here, you end up running over 90 degrees. And then I had to lay back the injection timing so far to get it all in there that it's, it's starting to lose power. So I'm gonna put the injection timing back to where it was. I'll probably just have to, you know, shorten up the shift points on until we can figure out another way to get more fuel in the same way. So yeah, big part of that was. So I started laying the injection timing back too, trying to get a little more leeway in there before 90 degrees on the intake stroke or on the compression stroke. But it helped with the fuel consumption, but it didn't help with the power because it's just the injection is too early in there. So, you know, trial and error, but uh, now I'll just go back and uh, change the injection timing back to the way it was. Leave the fuel the way it was.
For God's sake, just give me the damn number! I mean, basically almost double the horsepower by going to 17 pounds of boost. Again, we could put a 370 on there. If we could fuel it, pick up six pounds of boost. Um, probably put this easily in the range. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything's staying the same down here. It's just as we're you know starting to fall off of the uh, fuel capabilities, just lose a little bit of top. So, but from what it was to what it is now, quite the difference.